Attention, the following video is totally going to kick ass. If you enjoy any of it or have a large <laughs> please click the sub and like button below. Enjoy. Being healthy. Or the win. Sonic is my this way is to swag, This is an intro. Hey YouTube, SZH4 here. And today I'm going to be reacting to a new a video and another ch new channel series that uh, I found interesting. Super Planet Dolan and he made a video called That Time I Stole a Swan. I've been... Okay, that's that's a bit strange. Very weird. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the reaction video. Watch the original video first. Subscribe to... <laughs> subscribe to... The Super Planet Dolan, subscribe to my channel down below, hit that like button, ring that bell notification, and me on Discord. Without further ado, we're going to get started in 3, 2, 1, let's go. Ooh, another great animation. Psychic like Hammond Nations. Mr. D, why does it say on the internet you have a criminal record? Darling? Have you ever seen a swan or a goose? Or Bruh. Or thought, What's actually stopping me from taking that swan home? No. Wow. Ridiculous. Well, I have a story to share with you because it's a question we've all asked over on birdfarm.net, the go-to place for anyone into bird watching. It starts with the thread by Big Pixel 33 entitled, Who Owns a Bird? It makes a serious Bruh. point about wild birds. Who owns them? Why can't you just take one if you find it? Because you'd be stealing living creatures. Yeah. Like this. If a wild bird flies into your house and is eating your food and you shut the window it flew in from, technically, it's not in nature anymore. Is it not your bird now? It's yeah, he's got a good point. Might come knocking. It's a bird. It's your bird. You didn't steal it. Didn't ask for this, but it doesn't protest. I'm pretty sure it means you've taken a bird hostage. Yeah, this is like a voluntary... Yeah, technically. Mistake. Eventually, the farm thread evolves into a catchphrase and then a mantra. Who owns a bird? Who owns a bird? And naturally, the conversation asks, well, if we're bird watchers... Who does own a bird? If you watch a bird, then you lounge room. That's the worst logic I have ever heard. No, no, yeah. One of the more popular birds on the site is, of course, the majestic swan. User Forest Saint proposes a bold challenge. Fill your pockets with birds. What the? Seed, go to your nearest lake and bring home a swan. Yeah, it just began as a joke, but it, it kind of spirals into this serious plan as everyone's iterating on this concept. Like, how do you transport this bird? A, a dog collar might work. Like a car or... <laughs> you can just walk at home if you're close. So after consuming all this advice, even, uh, even I'm starting to think that this might be possible. Oh, God. Don't tell me. So this is the beginning of what would become the, the swan heist. The swan heist? First, the freak? takes place at a lake down the road. It's a popular jogging and fishing spot. You mean you actually went to abduct a swan? Yeah. Lake, I'm feeling pretty nervous. I'm very sweaty. The dog collar clutched in my hand. So I'm, I'm trying to scout the sleekest, sexiest swan I can find to take home. I'm hiding because, like, I'm not, I'm still not 100% sure if what I'm doing is technically legal. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure it's not. I spread out the bird feed, but the swan doesn't pay any attention at all. My dog Bruh. is much bigger than the swan's neck, but I figure if I can lasso it over the bird's head like a ring toss, I can kind of tighten it and drag it. I'll admit this. You're going to choke I'm it. kind of forget about it and just go home, but now I want this bird. So I hurl the dog collar, aiming with the leash, but the swan freaks out. It thinks I'm attacking its young, so it spreads its uh -oh. and it comes after me. Turns out swans are actually really terrifying when they're aggressive. I'm still trying to capture it. So there I am, just holding it down. Not it's good. Taking face away from me, trying to get the dog collar around it, but the collar won't retract. It keeps slipping off. It's going honk. The other birds are freaking out. Honk. Uh oh. It's throwing more attention, and these droggers have stopped it. They're watching me wrestle this swan. Oi, what are you doing? <laughs> like, nah, 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 it's fine, it's fine. The swan, he gets some pecs in, and they really hurt. I'm trying to tell the defensive swan, like, no, I don't want your babies. I'm here for you. Uh, yeah, 
I'm sure that calmed it right down. Baggy. Yeah, I'm just in so much pain. There's so many more people gathered. <laughs> so I let go of this one. I just bolt. I bolt home. I'm unloading my pockets of all the remaining bird seed as a distraction. I make it home and I report my story to the farm. I, you know, I'm relieved to see others have had a similar experience. Unfortunately, I lost the dog collar. Admittedly, yep. it wasn't the most successful trip ever. Good. I hope you learned your lesson today. I did not, because my second attempt goes much differently. What? Oh God. Take two. It takes me a while to recuperate from my experience. I, I spend a while curled up in bed, the PTSD of distant honking fresh on my mind. Users on the farm, they have further iterated on the strategy of the heist during my absence. Instead of a dog collar, the new meta is apparently this animal snare pole that you can Ooh. pull at a safe distance. You attend the site wearing a fluorescent vest, and then if anyone asks, you tell them you work for the council or something. You <laughs> council? I'm arrived from eBay. I'm refreshed. I'm ready to give this another go. Many on the forum wish me luck. One even sends me a photo of his captured swan giving a thumbs up, but I have a nice. Hard yeah, I'm pretty sure swans don't have thumbs. I turn up at the lake feeling much more confident. I don't even bother hiding this time. I corner the nearest swan and go to wrap the lasso around its neck. It protests, but none of the joggers care this time because of my vest. It's like a superpower. My heart's gone 300 beats per minute. It's like <laughs> a lasso around this, this swan's neck and I pin it down until it submits. Jeez! Are you serious? That actually worked? Animal cruelty! I have successfully captured an entire swan, and look, just, no one is stopping me. I steer and waddle this swan all What the, the freak? Streets and onlookers, even though it's freaking out. I'm just telling people, nah, that's nah, fine, it's my bird. It's, 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 wow. I direct the swan to my home, and I lock the door. Mission successful. I own Yay. a bird. This is amazing. Amazing indeed. Yeah, I kind of think like... What now? I didn't expect to actually get one. How, how do you look after these things? What get bird eat? seed. This bird is freaking out and it's climbing and crapping. <laughs> and hissing so loud it will not stop hissing. Maybe because it's terrified <laughs> out of its own mind? I google what swans eat and apparently it's mollusks, frogs, fish and worms. Seriously? Oh, they they, 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 they eat those? They didn't sell them at the supermarket. But then I wonder. What about dog food? No! Dog food is kind of like worms. It's, like, it's meaty, right? I buy a whole bunch now. No! Kitchen bowls like a trough. But this one, it's just too much of a spaz to notice. At night, I try singing lullabies to soothe it to sleep. <laughs> that just seems to infuriate it more. Bruh! Not torturing it? Maybe taking it home? I did end up consulting the farm to figure out what I'm doing wrong. They suggest the reason it might be freaking out could be because I separated it from its babies. Oh, my, you took a mother away from its children? Yeah. Oh, so what, what do you think I'd steal baby swans? Come now. Who's going to take care of the babies then? Now, you idiot. I said I'm not a monster. Look, a few days later, I used my snare pole to take her back to the lake. <laughs> Heartwarming reunion between her and her swanlings. And I swear, I swear, she turns to me and with a great deal of affection and respect, I'm pretty sure she gives me a nod as if to say, thank you for everything. Yeah. Oh, as if. No. Yeah, I'm pretty proud of myself after that. I hit her. That was in his head. I feel like I contributed to society in, in, a, in a positive way. You started that in the first place. You're a terrible person who traumatized an innocent swan and her family. You started this in the first place, dude. I also kind of felt the same way. They come knocking at my door with CCTV footage of me escorting a crazed hissing swan on a leash back to my apartment. In hindsight, I consider this the only flaw in my otherwise perfect heist. Oh, the only flaw, huh? They don't arrest me, but I am ordered to attend court to explain my actions. I'm required to divulge every detail of the plan, which I do with great reluctance. I choose to represent myself and give a truthful, accurate account of the heist. I can tell the judge is impressed with my accomplishments from his occasional nods and subtle smirks. He also looks to me with admiration as I refuse to rat out my online <laughs> collaborators. I take the full rap for the swan abduction to protect them. Yeah, I'm sure they really appreciated your sacrifice. Look, I was only given a $2,000 fine and ordered to Shit. stay in the swan parks. 
forever. But throughout the court proceedings, I listened intently and noted that at no time did anyone explicitly say you're not allowed to own a wild bird. So although it was a legal loss, it was in fact a moral victory. I tell really? I farm about what happened and what I've learned that after my court battle, I have learned there is a precedent for ownership of a wild bird. But, uh, well, <laughs> that's when something happens I didn't really expect. See, uh, people on the farm are like, Wait, are you serious? You actually abducted a swan? <gasps> oh! This was just a meme. Oh my god. Oh! <laughs> Busted! For reals! You know what the worst part was? What? It's all the dog food. I bought so much. Oh my god. Dog. You're an idiot. A really big idiot. Uncle, it's your opinion. I think it was a pretty clever plan. You know, if I did get a dog, that would be a really easy way to get rid of this dog food. Uh, Buy a dog. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed that reaction video of Super Planet Dolan. It was pretty cool and funny. I'll see you later. Peace. Stay healthy for the win.